Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Farming Simulator 22. We are continuing on our farm here in the center of the map, and we have a fair bit, I think, that needs to uh, possibly get done. Maybe not. We still have to uh, wait. So uh, I've been running a second farm, actually on the same map and in the same area, just because I wanted to get some more practice in because it's kind of hard to get any kind of serious progression doing one episode at one 30 minute episode at a time. <clears throat> So uh, I've been running a separate farm to just kind of practice my skills and get a little bit better at things. And uh, having done all of that, I'm going to make a couple of changes in the settings menu because there are several things that are just getting really nauseatingly repetitive over and over again, and I just don't want to have to deal with it anymore. So one of the big things is we're going to turn off periodic plowing required. We're also going to turn, well, I don't know. I haven't decided. Uh, we'll leave the weeds and the... Hmm, we'll leave those on. I wish that there was a... Huh, is there no way to turn off rolling requirements? Hmm. So the issue that I have is, is it takes, especially, uh, especially... Let's see. <clears throat> These fields over here take a very long time just to harvest. It takes, it takes, you know... 30 minutes just to harvest the three fields of these three fields over here and so I've been running into an issue where it's just it takes a long time just to harvest and then you have to go back and you have to do uh, then you have to go back and you have to seed and you have to do uh, the, the rolling and all this stuff it just it takes a really long time to get any of this stuff done and I'd like to figure out a way to where we can just get to the point where the the fertilizing and all that other well not necessarily the fertilizing I'm, I'm fine with that working the way that it does but just some of the uh some of the more repetitive tasks where you're basically just running over the field over and over again to to prep the field can be automated i'm not really sure what the uh not really sure what the issue is for the, what the way to what the way to deal with that is if you guys know of a mod that will automatically apply certain effects to fields i would like to know um, it's not necessarily that um, I have a problem with doing the work itself because it's you know it's fun to drive around the tractors. It's just it takes so much time. I, I can't afford to be spending an hour and a half, two hours in every every time I want to do a every time I want to do a video trying to get these fields done. So if there's a way to you know more quickly move through this stuff, I would really appreciate it if you guys could let me know. Obviously, we'll go through and do the. We, I want to go through and do the harvesting part because that's the fun part and I want to go through and uh, you know I don't, I don't know I don't even know if I necessarily want to put the seeds down I don't know I just it would be cool that there was an option to just come up to a field and say roll and it just automatically rolls the field for you something something along those lines but definitely for now just to save on time because it already takes enough time to do all of this stuff I'm gonna turn off lime lime and I'm gonna turn off I don't know, the weeds aren't that bad. The weeds only take a few minutes. I only want to turn off things that take a very long time to get done. Because all of this stuff adds up after a while. So the weeds aren't that bad. The, the, the weed things are very wide and they, they, they do a lot of stuff. So, you know, depending on your level of how how much realism and all of that stuff is important to you, my position my position on what on all of this stuff is going to, I don't know is going to be that but uh you know for me i just I, I play games to have fun and it's not fun to spend two hours going over the same field over and over, especially once we get to the point where we actually have to start uh you know hiring ai workers and all that other stuff i just i'd like to find ways to make things a little bit more efficient so for this episode though i think we don't really have anything that we can do right now this field right here is probably going to be harvested next month. Let's check out this field over here. I think we I think we sat I think we went down and actually prepared this one, right? Yeah, so this one's fertilized and ready to go. We're just waiting for this one to be finished. And then that one has another couple of months probably at least. This one is waiting to be planted. So uh, the way I've been doing it is I have in my other in my other playthrough, I have these three fields set to one crop and then I'll have these three fields set to another crop. Um, I think we're going to go ahead and sell this truck. It's money that we oops. 
it's uh it's money that we spent that you know i'm not even using the truck to do anything so let's go ahead and sell that real quick oh wait hold on i need it in the shop menu we will go over to our owned items to our vehicles we'll sell that because we don't really need it and then some of the other things that i would like to get rid of are let's see I think I want to get rid of this here because <clears throat> I really like the other sprayer that I have. I have this, uh, I have this and this. I have these two together, and that's much easier to use. So let's go ahead and we'll sell this sprayer back, and we'll trade that in for this guy here. I think it's that one. Yeah, <clears throat> this guy here, and this guy here. That gives us plenty of capacity for spraying things. And then also, we're going to sell... Oops. I mean, I keep, I keep wanting to press tab to do something else. I don't know why. Uh, we're going to sell the front loader for this. Well, yeah, we're going to sell the front loader for this because I need the... I need the the different attachment point in the front to carry that front tank for this for the for the fertilizer or for the sprayer so in my other playthrough i have a forklift that i've been using to move things around so we may get a cheapy forklift i don't have i don't have the same amount of money right now well, i mean i guess i have a little bit of money uh so we're gonna sell this front this fork this front fork attachment here and use the proceeds from that to potentially buy a forklift so yeah i'll be back Right, we've made it to the shop. Let's go ahead and pop back into the, uh, the little shop here. We're going to get our front loader and hold on. So first things first. Oh, well, we can sell that now. And we can sell the front loader tool because we don't need that either. So let's go ahead and pick up our front, our, uh, our, oh wait, hold on. We got to take our, we got to take our tractor over here to the shop so that we can redo the front attachment there. <clears throat> see can i do the shop while i'm in here no i gotta get out so we can come in here and then we can well let's go ahead and repair it repaint for twenty-one thousand. Jeez. uh okay so we can customize it let's go for the attacher oh wait i'm confused Oh, this is a different. Hmm. Okay. Uh, I'm slightly confused now. Is the f okay? So is I bought a big. I bought a different tractor in my other playthrough. I bought a bigger one, and it had a three-point attachment option. Maybe I'm just confused. Am I able to pick this up? Okay. All right. I was a little bit confused by that, but that's all right. So let's get this picked up. And then additionally, let's go ahead and check out and see about a forklift so that we can move things around. Where are the forklifts? Forage harvesters, front loaders, wheel loaders, forklifts. So hold on. So this is 45,000 versus a forklift that I can get for 30,000. Should I get well, I got the big one in the last in the last one, but I don't think I need that that big. I think I think this one's probably fine. Cuz I'm just I'm only going to really be using it to move pallets around. Uh We'll buy this for now and hope that it's enough. We'll come back for it in a minute. <clears throat> I just, I want to save room because I want to get a, uh, I eventually want to get an auto loading trailer. I did download the mods that have the auto loaders, auto loading tra that applies auto loading to trailers. So I uh, definitely want to make sure that I'm doing, oh, that's why I was pressing tab. In most games I have tab set to my auto run and it's, it's the three it's the number three key number three key in this game 
So anyways, uh, we're gonna go get this dropped off. I know we're not really getting anything actually done other than just kind of reconfiguring our farm just a little bit so that we can uh, <clears throat> be a little bit more efficient with our with our time. Because the trailer that I was using for this is just, it's not, I don't think it was any really any wider than what we were using and it was much more difficult to manage. So let's get this over here. We'll get it parked. All right. Or we can run into the wall. That's also a possibility as well. <laughs> can we... Can we drop it? Oh, okay. For whatever reason, it just was not attached. For whatever reason, it was not selected. So what can the tractor do that's causing me to... Causing it to have an option for me to do something with it? Because I'm confused. Weird. Okay, let's get the... Uh, let's get this parked. We'll go get the forklift. And that'll allow us to move... Stuff around. <laughs> Little forklift. <laughs> Compared to the other one I have, this one's a little dinky one, but that's all right. We only need it to be we only need it to be beefy enough to move these these uh, pallets around. That's all I'm really using it for. So this is going to take a little bit longer to get back. I'll I'll be back when uh, ugh, I'll be back in a minute. Oh man, does it take a long time to get anywhere in this thing? I'm glad we don't need to uh, drive around in it very much. But uh, I'm going to try to configure the farm more or less the same way I have it in my other one. I don't even have a, I don't even have a shed in my other one. <laughs> I really should, but I just haven't kind of decided how I'm going to make all of that work yet. So let's see. What is this over here? Fertilizer, right? No, let's get that down there like that. Get ourselves turned around this way. And I have been keeping my fertilizer. Where, where have I been keeping my fertilizer? Yeah, <clears throat> I think I've been keeping my fertilizer. Actually, I don't remember where I'm keeping my fertilizer. Um, I think that for now, we'll just we'll stick it over here. I know I've been keeping my pesticide over there if I have extra, like just pallets that are just kind of hanging out. Okay. There we go. And then we'll get ourselves parked. Might as well park in here, huh? <clears throat> All right, so that takes care of moving things around. And I think that might be everything that we need. So this is for lime. To be perfectly honest with you, I've turned that setting off. Um, I think I'll... Actually, what is this? Um, not what I'm... I keep pressing wrong buttons. I'm sorry. Let's get into the shop menu. Let's get into our items menu. So we have a fertilizer spreader, which I don't really need because we're able to fertilize... We're able to fertilize as we plant. So we'll sell that. I also don't need... I've turned off the... I've turned that off. I don't want to do that. I don't care who complains. I'm not doing the. I'm not doing. Uh, I'm not doing plowing anymore. That takes forever. Um, let's see. So we have. So what is this one? This is my lime trailer, right? Oops, wrong button. <clears throat> let's see. Oh, this is my. Okay, I have a different trailer that I got in the other one. So, okay, so now we have, we have a roll, we have a cedar. I'm confused as to what I have now. So we have the cedar and a cultivator. Shallow cultivation before seed bed credit. I don't think I need this either, right? If we don't need, if, we, if we've turned off the plowing, then I don't necessarily need that either. So I need the cedar to be able to plant things. I need the roller to be able to roll the fields. The sprayers to be able to spray pesticides, and I can also do fertilization with that. 
We have the two headers that we need for the different kinds of things that we're doing. We have a trailer to move goods. We have a forklift to move things around. Harvester to harvest and a tractor to move everything. I think I think we're pretty well set up at this point. So yeah, I'm not really, I don't think we have anything else that we really need to get done right this minute. So let's go ahead and advance time and see what we can get done next. Let's save our game just so we don't have any issues. And let's see what the next month brings. Okay, so we are in the next month. Does, uh, so yeah, here the corn is ready to go. So let's grab our harvester. We'll get the corn header and we'll get started with harvesting that. So now we're in June. Come on. There we go. One of the things that I've learned on this, on this particular set of plots over here is that it's much easier to continue a straight line if you start from up here because they're more aligned up here at the top than they are at the bottom. So let me get myself lined up where we're supposed to be. You know, there's supposed to be a work camera somewhere. I downloaded, oh, left shift C. Oh, left shift C. Oh. That's cool. That is super cool. Does that stay on the whole time? No. Oh, hold on. I can't see my task. Ugh. I need to hide my taskbar because I can't see the map to tell me what direction I'm facing. I have learned over having continued to do... I have learned uh, having continued to do this that the degrees at which you are facing, the degree that you're facing, uh, the direction down there at the bottom left where it says 90.1 makes a massive difference in being able to stay on, on track. Uh, I'm sure those of you who play this game a lot already knew that. Uh, the rest of us have to kind of figure it out. This is kind of cool. Having that camera over there on the left side really does make it much easier to line up our stuff, though. I have to say. Hmm. But then, oh, control C. Oh, there we go. Look at that. Get it 270 to get the perfect uh that's cool having that camera there makes a massive difference it makes it makes this view a little bit more it, this it makes this view possible i don't know that it makes it more fun but it definitely makes it possible so it's control c to change the view Cells turned around again. Okay, well, this is kind of cool. I actually like this. Uh, so I'll finish up this field and be back in a minute. All right, we are finishing up this load. I don't know, I might end up using this view a lot more now that I have the working camera there. That makes a... Uh, it's a massive difference, and it feels like it feels much more like I'm actually operating the equipment when I'm just kind of sitting in here like this. So I don't want to I don't want to use this view only because obviously you guys want to see that we want to see the farm and everything. But it's kind of cool to just drive around this way. Kind of makes you feel like you're actually running the equipment. I like that. I don't want to put that too far up there like that so that we aren't. There we go. Let's get ourselves. Oh, I can't see anything. Hmm. All right. Well, this is the way we need to switch to the out actual outside view because we need to be able to. Oop. Mm, what am I doing? So I need to get the trailer out so we can out <clears throat> pull the uh, crops out. So let's do that.
So can I, so does this have a work camera? Nice. Does it give me different views? Ooh. Okay, that's kind of cool. Let's get the thing turned out there. I know I'm a little bit disjointed. I'm trying to get used to these new, cool, these cool new mods that I've installed, and ideally that will make it so that uh, it's a little bit more fun. We're still trying to get our fields kind of prepped and set up for whatever processes that we're going to do moving forward. So it's going to be a little bit disjointed and kind of weird and playing a little bit of catch up, I think. And then for now, it's currently June. Corn, I believe, is a gets. Oh, that's actually. So corn. Corn will actually be better off in next month. Well, hold on, 894 is the peak is what it says right now. Current pricing, I mean, it's not gonna hurt us to wait until next month, I guess. Let's go put the corn here in the, uh, we'll store it in the, the I, I've been storing food in here when I'm not really needing it. So yeah, we'll leave that in there and then we'll park all of this stuff well, actually, no, we need to we need to get the harvester put away. And then, yeah, I can't see anything. Oh, I can. OK, so I guess the camera changes depending on what you have attached. Actually, let's see. What does the field need right now? It needs to be weeded. What does this one need over here? I don't think it needs anything. So that one's all good. This one needs to be weeded. So I'm kind of curious to know what the working camera looks like for this one. So let's go hop into here. We'll go pick up our we'll go pick up our attachments there. Wait, where did I put? Oh, I put them over here. I've been keeping them over there and the other thing, but I forgot I had the shed over here. Let me, uh, let me get over this way. Oh, wait. So is there no working camera for this? Oh. Well, let's get it let's get it unfolded. Hmm. Oh, you know what? There's no there's no fertile. There's no herbicide in this. I, I'll, I'll, I'll go take care of that problem. <laughs> oh, okay. Interesting. So it has several different, uh, several different things that you can do there. But anyways, let me go get some fertilizer or some uh, pesticide over here, and I'll be back. All right, we're back, and we have fertilizer to use now. Get myself lined up properly here. So my question is, which of these views provides me with, oh, okay. So theoretically, I could be like, 
I mean, I guess I could do that. Yeah. I don't know. I kind of like I kind of like this first person view that we're doing. Everybody, I mean, everybody's seen a million videos with the third person view like that. I'm not saying I'm not going to do third person. I'm just saying it's kind of cool. I don't even really need to be careful on this side. It, it is what it is. All right. Well, uh, we'll finish doing the spraying for this. I kind of like this. It's much, it, I don't know. I don't want to say it's more fun. It's just it's kind of interesting to kind of be in the cab while you're doing it and be able to see what's actually happening. Oops. I was too busy messing around. I wasn't paying attention. We ended up running into our, uh... All right, there we go. <laughs> I was too busy talking and not, not busy enough, uh... Not busy enough paying attention. All right, let's go put this away and then, uh... Well, first off, let's check this field. Does it have any more issues now? Yeah, it just says fertilized, harvested, I think we're all good to go. So let's get the equipment put away, and then we'll go ahead and call in an episode, I think. So hopefully you guys are having lots of fun. Be sure to click that like button so the YouTube algorithm knows that you are and sends the video out to as many people as possible. Uh, subscribe if you're not subscribed already so that when the next video comes out, it will show up in your video feed and you'll be able to watch it as soon as it becomes available. Channel members do get early access to all of my content, so be sure to click that join button, check out the list of options available there, and decide if any of those are right for you. Uh, your direct support is greatly appreciated and a critical component to helping to turn this into a full-time, independent uh, content creation gig for me. So uh, please consider doing it. Anyways, hopefully you guys are having lots of fun. Be sure to uh, come back for the next one, and I'll see you then.